NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory recorded a major solar flare on December 28 that created a coronal mass ejection, or CME. When a CME makes its way toward Earth, it can create so-called geomagnetic storms above our planet. These storms don't pose any threat, but they can sometimes disrupt communications technology, particularly those that use high frequencies like ham radios. Scientists believe a massive solar eruption will cause power fluctuations, radio interference and maybe even make the northern lights visible to millions of people across the U.S. on New Year's Eve. It's certainly possible, says Terry Onsager, a physicist with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. It depends entirely on the strength of the storm. If it turns out to be stronger than that, it could be seen. On Monday, the 27th of December 2015, a powerful M1.9 class solar flare erupted from the sun, spewing out huge amounts of charged particles. They began hitting the Earth's atmosphere early on Wednesday morning, and the effects are expected to continue being felt into New Year's Eve. The storm is expected to slow from a major event to a minor event on New Year's Eve, but there's still a chance of ringing in 2016 with an epic or oral glow in the background. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration is predicting a strong G3-class geomagnetic storm. The rating system classifies the magnetic fields created by these solar events on a scale of G1 to G5. A G3 storm like what will hit this week can create fluctuations in power grids, cause radio blackouts in the higher latitudes, and even affect GPS reception. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration warns. The CME was associated with a long-duration M1 flare, R1 minor radio blackout, that peaked at 1,245 IC, 0745 ET, on 28 December, 2015. For more updates visit National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration website in the description below.